Hey, what's up, Louisville? Uh, what's up, working people of the world? Uh, poor people, homeless people, anybody in distress, anybody oppressed? Word up. Anybody that's oppressing, go fuck yourself. I'm Jonathan Masters, and um, I come across the Louisville Cardinal. This this waste of paper here, and um, I liked. I actually, I, I generally don't like it, but the first two articles real good. One about human trafficking by Elijah McKenzie. Um, trafficking is still going on uh, here, even in Louisville, in America, the richest country in the world. Even though one out of two of our people are po, so human trafficking human trafficking still exists and then you had um, Bailey uh, Pulliam Bailey Pulliam uh, wrote this article SGA opposes the sale of the SAC Fitness Center expansion so here's the deal the um, and she even quoted uh, Kevin Miller and President Ramsey's so the deal is the athletics department wanted to buy the SAC for the soccer teams and the cheerleading teams to take the weightlifting room and all the other places uh, for themselves. They wanted to buy it for like two million bucks and um, President Frizzell said that that was a slap in the face. So the SGA opposed a resolution that confronts the administration and offers an alternative uh, plan of what to do with the SAC. They're going to renovate the SAC and they already figured out the funding and how, how that they were going to do it. So it was, a, it was good. It was a well-written article. Um, it it ended with uh, President Ramsey, and I also think that this paper defends the administration, it defends the establishment, it defends the oppressors, it defends President Ramsey or Farrah Ramsey's. Um, I think it defends them generally, uh, and I don't think it actually cares for the truth. I mean, it's got, you know, full page advertisements on the back, so if you want to get your voice heard, then just buy a page. Just give them money and they'll print your words. But if you have something to say, if you wanted to actually, you got a message you want to give out to the students, uh, they will fight you and they will censor you. So on the bottom here, on the front, you still you got the province. Um, the province is uh, university housing, so the province is also what fucked up the SGA elections two times in a row last year uh, because they keep liking somebody's uh, candidate's page. So, uh, the province gets a front page ad. I doubt that they'll print up any bad things that go on at the province. They will ask no hard questions of the landlords or the management um, or, you know, anybody over there, the RAs that would have some uh, modicum of authority and whether or not they abuse it. Those questions will not be asked. Um, some other ads that they had, they had CSL Plasma, so if you want to uh, donate your blood, donate your blood downtown, you'll get 50 bucks, unless you're skinny, then you get $35, and some other ads, and actually they had a paltry amount of ads, so I'm not sure if they're, I have no idea how they're surviving, they're probably getting money straight from the university officials. Um, the article about uh, Farrah Ramsey's getting the pay bump didn't actually uh, include all the facts. So Farrah Ramsey's getting 25 pay increase on a salary, that's true, uh, which is an increase of 5%. Farrah Ramsey's was getting 5% interest, or 5% increase, uh, a raise earlier this year. Now he's getting a 25%, so that's 30% um, right off the top. And he also has, um, he's going to get bonuses, uh, several million dollars, two million dollars in bonuses if he can make it uh, around till 2020. Um, which he probably won't because he's had two prestigious offers and he's also told the media so that's That he told the media to put pressure on the board of trustees who by the way are just 30 of the old crusty establishment third of 1% um, Elite business people there. They uh, only care um, About themselves and the money they don't care about the students. They're gonna raise tuition. They don't give a fuck about us They will raise our tuition that's a foregone conclusion. They're going to do it to you. They don't give a fuck if you're working, working class or poor. They're going to raise your tuition. Why are they raising your tuition? Fair Ramsey's going to get himself a bonus. He's going to get himself a bonus and he's going to give himself a raise and he's going to give his friends a raise. He says that it's okay that he got a raise because several people on staff have got raises. Well, I've heard people on staff getting paid cuts. So if some people on staff are getting paid cuts and others are getting paid raises, um... 
that leads to a nepotism. That's possible nepotism. He's helping out his buddies. He's helping out his cronies. He's giving his crony salary increases and bonuses and um, whatever perks that he can come up with. Meanwhile, the rest of us have to uh, dip, dig, dig deeper into our pockets, which is bullshit. It's total bullshit. And it's bullshit because the rising in students' tuition um, has been consistent all the way from 1950s till today. So 1950s till today, I think it's gone. It's doubled. It's more than doubled. It's like quadruple doubled, trouble doubled. It's insane how uh, it's a foregone conclusion that the tuition is going to go up, and it's, that's not right. We should put the pressure on the board of trustees to stop them. Um, they do not represent my interest. I know that. Uh, so you know, um, compare Farrah Ramsey's to the Ohio State University. Uh, Gordon Lee, and this was printed in the paper, Gordon Lee donated his million-plus salary back to the university that he was working at. So, um, Gordon Lee, the president of Ohio State University, gave his money back to the university. He says, you know what, I'm working for the people, here's your money back. That's what Pharaoh Ramsey should do. Pharaoh Ramsey's give back your money. Give, give back the money to the community um, since you get uh, a decent salary anyways to live. Let the rest of us live. You eat enough. How much money? You need millions of dollars? Millions of dollars? Why can't you just stick around U of L because of loyalty? You gonna go to some two other places where you gonna go Tulane? Where you gonna go UK? You gonna go to our competitors? To um, our um, they ain't our enemies, but they're our um, rivals. You're gonna go to our rivals? Is that is that where you're gonna go? Okay, that's ridiculous. So, <laughs> um, I like the one article, I like the other article, I liked all these articles, but I'm going to keep on critiquing the Cardinal just to put the pressure on them. Put the pressure on them to make sure that they say honest, good things. Um, there are several issues the SGA didn't cover. I couldn't find out what issues were talked about at the SGA meeting for last two weeks or the one in December. So, it's two meetings that I have no clue about, and I don't think anybody else has uh, watching SGA, so if I don't know, then uh, probably nobody knows, except for those on the inside. And um, so, I also I blame both SGA and the Cardinal for that. The SGA should put their minutes on the website, and the Cardinal should be publishing the bullet point list of all the things that get passed. They pass lots of revolutions and motions uh, in. SGA chambers and the Cardinals should be publishing them and they should be telling uh, the people what it is that they're doing. One thing that they're doing, they're trying to cut down on paper waste so all the uh, agendas and stuff that they're putting on, they said let's do away with that and put it all electronically. Why it's a good idea, I have no way of getting any of the information that would have got printed up. But if you do want to have a paper sustainability program, then you can start out with, with, with this paper because every time somebody comes in every time somebody comes in with the um, uh, new Cardinals they have to throw those old ones away so those old ones getting thrown away are just wasted and there's a lot of articles a lot of paper a lot of um, newspapers that are getting thrown away so that's a lot, a lot of wasted paper and uh, we shouldn't be clogging our landfills up with garbage nor should we be cluttering our schools up with garbage so three good articles um, I'm pessimistic, but good job, Cardinal. You passed this time. <laughs> yeah, first some adrenaline. There ain't no God above. The true revolutionary is guided by great feelings of love. Oh, he's smarter than all y'all. Listen up, you fucking rednecks. Spit out your fucking jaw. Time for you to get in the with my motherfucking Paul. He's smarter than all y'all. Ron Paul is like George Bernard Shaw. With God, he's pushing the military industry to motherfucking jaw. Ron Paul don't give a fuck. Like Jack Bunnett's buck. It's a fucking wild he calls. Ron Paul's our Cinderella man. It's time to send him to the motherfucking ball. So that Ron Paul and Obama can square off. In a dual and draw, Ron Paul tells all y'all that America's more violent than South.